Right, so I've washed this with a little bit of soap and water and then I wiped this side and this side with a little bit of oil and heated it for two minutes as instructed. So now we will try to cook something in this and what we're going to cook is adobo sa puti na pinilito. So basically it's just adobo without any soy sauce. So I have a combination of pork cubes and the ampo here, about a kilo. So we'll just put it there. Put everything there. And then, um, some sliced garlic. And this is a whole head of garlic. So normally when I cook this, I let it boil until it's tender. And then I let it cook in its own juice. So, right, that's a head of garlic. I'll just add a little bit of everyday seasoning. Just a tiny bit and then some coarsely ground black pepper if you can get your hands on freshly ground black pepper. Do so. Now I'm using pre-ground because my pepper grinder isn't working anymore and then either add salt substitu substitute which I will be using or just plain salt so just a tiny amount will do and then just add your choice of vinegar I'm using just plain white vinegar so I will just pour it just like that. Oops, I, that might be a little bit too much, but I'm gonna add water. I forgot to add garlic powder. So I'm gonna add some of that now. So it's important that when you're using spices like this, um, don't open it directly when a pan is boiling because it's gonna make your spices clump up. So there's my garlic powder just for that additional garlicky taste and I'll, I'll add just a little bit of water and then mash everything together carefully. I want to spread all of those garlic slices you can add as many or as little of the garlic as you want. I just want it to be really garlicky. The garlic powder is also optional. Right. So that's done. I am going to cover this up and put it on the heat. And I noticed that right, this thing came off right away um i actually removed this earlier when i washed it so i'm not sure if i didn't put it correctly um but it's coming off hopefully it doesn't come off when i cook right so we'll close it and we will put it on the heat it's now on top of my stove and it's on medium heat so we'll go back to it after a few minutes. We'll open it. See you later. 20 minutes, we'll see what it... After 20 minutes, we'll see what it looks like. And there it is. The rubber. Sorry, the silicone has completely fallen off and I think I will remove it now. I think it will still cook without it, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Uh, the water has dried up and there was smoke coming out of the hole over here. It says indicates that it's cooked. It's cooked. Oops, hang on. Haha, <laughs> sorry for that. So I'm gonna flip this. I'm not gonna flip it. Um, I'm not gonna flip the pan because there's no silicone anymore. Just gonna flip it here and just make sure everything is fully cooked and I will be back. I flipped the pan over without the silicone lining. And this is what it looks like. 
I can hear I can hear the popping of the skin of the pork. Um, so no, um, thankfully no oil or fat spilled out, but we'll see how it looks. Um, we'll check on it after a few minutes. We're cooking the other side of the pork now, so we'll see how it goes. The other side, I'm assuming, will be perfectly round and crispy, so we'll have a look right there. Alright, so after 25 minutes of cooking and flipping, this is what our adobo looks like. Tada, oops. Everything is cooked and crispy-ish. I would have liked this part to cook some more. When I flipped it again, some of the fat came out. When I flipped it, some of the fat came out of the pan. Because, as expected, because there's no silicone lining. Did it reduce my cooking time? I'm not sure. Is it worth the money? I guess so, because... How much does a pan and lid set cost? Stuff in your pan um, and lid set cost. I think this would work better if I put pancakes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the silicone lining back. Um, see, I removed it completely because it kept falling off. I tried putting it back again. It doesn't want to stick to the lining. So that's my review. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I didn't put the silicone lining correctly. Let me know on the comments below. And the burnt parts are the garlic, which I can remove. So what do you think? Are you going to buy it for yourself? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to tap the bell for notifications on my next videos. Thanks!